Hey guys, Tiffany with another video and girl, I already know that <laughs> I have been missing from YouTube and kind of from social media as a whole. Um, I wanted to touch on that before jumping into the haul. I will leave some timestamps down below if you guys don't really want to see this part as I give you my life update. Most of you guys already know because you do follow me on my other forms of social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat. Um, so you guys know that two months ago my father did pass away and that has just been a life changing uh life altering situation it wasn't expected um i know again you guys have been following me for a while so you know that my father was battling cancer but it this him passing away was just not expected at all so it really put a it put a, a halt on things um life has not been the same for me um you guys again because so many of you have been rocking with me from really the beginning where i've done videos and vlogs with my family you guys have seen my family are dynamic we um have always been a really close-knit family but I've always been a daddy's girl I've, I've, I've always been a daddy's girl so losing my dad just had a really negative I don't know any other word to say other than it just had a really negative impact on me it's been hard um, every day my new model really is moment by moment i really can only take every moment um as it comes and that's just what i've been trying to do so youtube was just not the focus for me and that's why you guys haven't seen me but i have tried to be a little bit more present on my other social media um even though mainly it's just been like things about just missing my dad because that just has been an easy um like an outlet for me a little bit to just kind of get that out there that I miss him instead of holding it so deep inside but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your um, words of positivity for your prayers for your just encouragement and I'm gonna try my best like I know that I have to keep life moving because I know that that's what my dad will want. So that's what I'm trying my best to do. So I haven't been here. I'm going to try to be back as much as I can, be present as much as I can. So yeah, let's get to this video. So I have to give you guys a disclaimer. All of this stuff that I'm about to show you, I did not pick up at one time. I went and made this really big order right before the sale, forgetting that the sale was even coming. And then I was kicking myself like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? So since the sale started on, I want to say the 9th, I went in store and I picked up some things and then I also made a, another online order. So this is going to kind of be part one and then part two, I'll show you guys when the rest of that stuff comes in. So don't think your girl was just out here splurging all at one time, but I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> bottom line a whole bunch of unnecessary money was spent yeah let's get started so I'm gonna kind of just grab and go I don't think I'm gonna do too many swatches just because I do have a lot to show you guys in this video alone but I am gonna try my best to start getting back to YouTube it's gonna be a slow process I'm you know I'm not even gonna lie to you guys uh just every day is It's just going to be a slow process, so I'm just asking that you guys to bear with me, but I am planning on getting back into it. So if there's something that you guys want to see, let me know on my off days. I'm going to try to dedicate time just for YouTube alone. But the first thing I picked up, and I know this for a fact was a previous purchase, the, oh, I have it upside down, the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. Y'all know I was going to pick this up. I really have enjoyed the Pat McGrath palettes that I do have. I'm not a collector of all things Pat McGrath, but the ones that I have already, I do really like. So I was interested in this palette, and I love the fact that the price point was a lot cheaper than her usual palettes. I know you guys have seen this already, but you didn't see it from Tiff, so I'm still going to show it to you. That is what the shades look like on the inside. The only thing that I... 
I wish there was a blending shade but this is not a deal breaker for this because I have so many palettes that have really good blending shades but there wasn't like a blending shade I love that brown that brown is really nice for like the outer corner and I really do like the shimmer shades I like that there's a variety in colors so I know some people were like oh you know it's not it's not giving what it's supposed to give but honey for that price it was giving everything so next up, I do have two Fenty Beauty powders. I actually am a fan of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I wanted to make sure I got the name right. Both of them are in the shade Honey. I picked up one and then my daughter purchased one for me. So I really love these for underneath the eye. It's not the under eye powder I'm wearing today. I have a lot of setting powders, so I try to keep them in rotation so I can get good use out of all of them. But I do think the Derma Blend and the Fenty are probably my top to go to with the Too Faced um, coming in at a really close third. But I really love these. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these already. I'll just open it. These are the bigger ones. I've gone through two of the smaller ones. So I know for a fact I'm going to get through the bigger one. And again, this is just in the shade Honey. Now I've really been focusing on skincare. I mean, I've always been focused on skincare. Don't get me wrong. But lately I've really been focused on skincare because I am getting older. Listen, time is not slowing down. Especially with the online order I just placed. I picked up some really good skincare things that I've had my eye on and I've been wanting to try out. But I did pick up the Ula Henry. Rickson Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleaner. I've heard a lot of great things about this and this has kind of been in my wish list for a while. It's not expensive so I don't really know why I didn't buy the bite the bullet before. I think it's more I've just been trying to get through the things that I have but I'm finally dwindling down to the skincare that I'm using so I know it's time for me to go ahead and get some more and again why not when I get a discount. So it says this purifies cleans your pores it has green infusion complex neem seed oil and ahas so i'm all about that whole cleaning out your pores things because i have creative pores so yeah i can't wait to try this out and i know y'all already know there was no way i was going to place an order in sephora whether with the sale or not and not get any of the laneige lip balms I love these or should I say the lip sleeping mask because really they're sleeping masks you're supposed to put them on like overnight but girl don't do like me because me I wear them all throughout the day um, I keep them at work I keep some in my car I love these I swear by these I've tried out both of these and I really enjoy both of them so I wanted to get them in the full size because these are things I know for a fact I'm gonna use lip scrubs lip polishes um, lip balms like I'm all about that life I got big lips so this was another gift from my daughter. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream and Honey Waffles. I tried this shade out. It is absolutely gorgeous. She has another shade that I think right now is like exclusive to the Fenty Beauty website. It came as like a duo. I got the email for it. I'm thinking about biting the bullet and just going ahead and ordering it. I don't know because that shade looked gorgeous i'm trying to wait and see if it's going to come to sephora fingers crossed but that is what honey waffles looks like it's just this really pretty mm, almost like a i'm horrible with describing things but it's like this just natural nudish lip color that that's probably not helping you guys but it's gorgeous and i really love it i've tried it out and i absolutely love it this is what happens when you order stuff and you put it up like just trying to wait until you film. I didn't even realize that I ordered this but this is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Sculpting Brow Wax Pencil. It's a universal shade because it's just a brow wax. Child, I don't even remember getting this. So this is what the packaging looks like. We're going to find out together. It does look like it's dual ended. Oh, oh so it does have... Oh, but this is not like the brush that's on the um, the brow pencil. It has really good movement. That's a good thing. But this has more of like a like a silicone type feel. And then that is the brow wax. It's just clear. I remember Mac. I don't know if they still do, but like years ago, Mac's had Mac Mac 
Max, what? Get it together, Tiffany. Mac had those um, wax pencils, and they had one that was like clear, and I absolutely loved it. But that was before I truly knew about brows. Like I was just getting into brows. This was years ago. So this made me think of that, and that's probably why I picked it up. I just don't remember picking it up. But y'all know how I am about my brows, honey. The brows will slay no matter what's going on. So we'll see how this goes. And then I got one of the Fenty um, Slip Shines Sheer Shiny Lipstick in Cookies and Cream. I don't want to swatch this because I haven't used it. I try not to open up. I try not to open up um, mascaras or lip products unless I'm actually ready to use them. But this is what the packaging looks like. It is really pretty. And that shade looks gorgeous. Looks just like I thought it was going to look. And yeah, I have so many lip products open right now that I'm trying to get through. So I don't want to swatch this one. But just from what I remember looking on the website, it looked like it's going to go perfect. So I grabbed some Charlotte Tilbury. Um, This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I absolutely love this. I got mine in the shade number 310. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I love the packaging of the Charlotte Tilbury products. They just always look so expensive. And then that is what the powder looks like on the inside. This is really great for just kind of setting your face. Just going in after you finish everything, just take a powder and it just gives you this really gorgeous like blurred type of look. This is my second one because let me show you guys. Y'all know it is rare for me to hit pan on stuff because I have so much makeup. But hold on. So this is my other powder. I'm so proud of myself. Girl. Yes. Okay, this powder is the truth. I absolutely love it. It is probably something that is going to forever be in my staple. I'm telling you, like, it just gives this blurred effect. Sometimes I'll even just take a little bit and I will wipe away my powder after I've kind of set underneath my eye. I don't like to call it baked because I really don't bake anymore. You girls too old for baking. But <laughs> I do like to set underneath my eye and I'll just go in with a brush to wipe that powder away with just a little bit of this on here. And it just gives my under eyes such a great look, especially for work. That's a tip. But look at that. I'm so excited. So yeah, I love this powder. Another skincare product. This is from Pharmacy. This is the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with Morning Moringa? Moringa? I'm probably saying that wrong. And Papaya. Here is what the packaging looks like. I have seen so many good reviews online about this. I was so excited about this um, because I do have combo skin. Even though it's starting to get dry in places, it's still combo because I'm still oily in a lot of places too. I don't really like those thicker moisturizers. I always tend to go for more of like a gel moisturizer. So I knew I wanted to get this. Um, it says it's oil-free, silicone-free. It's a daily moisturizer that delivers lightweight, lasting hydration without feeling greasy. Yeah, I'm all about that life. I can't wait to try. I have about three different moisturizers that I'm using right now. So I know I'm not going to use this one. But I do want to see what the packaging looks like. Is that a glass bottle? Ooh, fancy. Yeah, I'm excited. The reviews on this are amazing. So I definitely hope it lives up to the hype. So I got sent some things from Urban Decay and also Too Faced. I was going to show you guys in this video because they are things that you can pick up during the haul. But I also have a feeling this video is going to be kind of long. So I might not. If you guys want to see those, like if you don't mind me showing you PR within um, a haul video, let me know and then I will include those things in part two of the video because my plan is to get these things out so you guys can maybe get a little bit of inspiration for your own list before the sale is up on the 19th, I want to say it's over. So we've got time right now, but if you guys want to see it or if you want to see it in a separate video just let me know down below i'm filming in front of my window um in my makeup room so i'm noticing that the sun is kind of 
playing peekaboo behind the clouds so i have no idea how the lighting is about to come out for this video but girl do you know how much it took to get me to actually start filming so we gonna push through um i picked up some more of the shiseido facial cotton wipes i really like these how many do you get 165 sheets it does take me a while to get through these you can use regular facial wipes i don't necessarily feel like there's anything super amazing they are a bit softer than the ones you would normally pick up in from like walgreens or walmart so i think during the sale this is probably a nice little luxury splurge on yourself but on a regular basis you don't have to have them i just enjoy them so i've been really into powder foundations um lately uh, for the past couple of months, I really haven't been wanting to do much of anything, but I do suffer from like bags and under eye darkness. So I'm known for putting on concealer at work. And recently I've just been kind of doing concealer and some powder, mascara, and of course the brows. So I've really been into powder foundations. I picked up two of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powders. I picked up one in the shade uh, y455 let me show you guys what that looks like so this is what the packaging looks like I really like it because it's really sturdy it's really good for traveling it's like this little tin has a push button has a really nice size mirror that I don't want to blind you guys with and then you get the powder on one side and then you get this little sponge on the other so again this one is Y455 it's actually a little I don't know I mean it looks kind of light as I'm looking at, at it on camera but it's a little too dark for me so the only reason I didn't take it back is because I feel like it would be perfect for the summer because I do plan on being outside for the summer you guys know this is a big birthday year for me I am turning 40 years old girl <laughs> this is about to be 40 so I do plan on being outside so I knew that this would work in the summer and because I enjoy the powder so much I didn't want to take it back but I did pick up another shade Y445 which I want to say is the shade before the one I just showed you I don't have it because it's in my car because I keep it in my car for when I just need to do some touch-ups um, because I do have another powder that I put on to go to work and I really haven't had to do any touch-ups but in the event I need them I need it to be in my car but Y445 is like the perfect shade for me right now packaging looks the exact same it's just literally like a hair lighter but you can definitely tell when you put it on your face but I have been, the coverage of these powders is amazing. If you are into powder foundation and you don't have these, this is something I would definitely say you want to pick up during the sale. Like, I don't know where I've been. I've been sleeping on this powder, but it gives such a great, like, blurring effect. It's gorgeous on the skin. It's not drying. I absolutely love it. And speaking of powder foundations, this one, I... I love the Makeup Forever, don't get me wrong, like it is a battle between these two. I would say they both are great. This one is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. You guys know at one point, like this was all the rage, everybody, all the girls were talking about it. And I didn't do a video or anything on it because it, like I said, you know, just life right now. But I do really love this. I got mine in the shade 385, which is normally my um, foundation shade. I can fluctuate between 385, 390, 390 not so much anymore, maybe in the summertime. But I haven't been able to wear 390 in a really long time. I had to go back to 385. So this is what 385 looks like. It is the powder. Um, I, well, I'm wearing it on top of a foundation, which I don't normally do because I don't normally wear liquid foundation. But I'm wearing it today on top of the foundation. And I have to say, it looks gorgeous paired with a foundation because I've been wearing it on its own and it's absolutely gorgeous. But this is perfection. Like I said, between the two... I can't really say which one I love the most because I love both of them. They both do really great. So whichever one you decide to go with, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And since we're talking about foundation, I did pick up the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Here's what the packaging looks like. Y'all know I love NARS Foundation. The Natural Radiant Foundation is one of my top two foundations. I absolutely love it. 
here is what this one looks like I have the shade Caracas which is the same shade that I wear in the um, natural radiant foundation it's the foundation that I'm wearing today oh my gosh the Sun is it looks like it's about to rain hmm but <laughs> this is it's absolutely gorgeous I don't know what my face is looking like on camera but I feel like in real life I'm looking so put together which I haven't looked put together in a really long time this foundation is great it goes on great it dries down beautifully it holds up throughout the day because I have wanted to work I have sweat through it I have worked really hard sorting out mail because everybody got their stimulus and their taxes but me and they just buying up like did furniture go on sale on Amazon and nobody told me because we have been getting huge pallets of furniture through Amazon it has been crazy my bag hates y'all right now that's all I'm gonna say but this foundation holds up great I am excited to see how this wears during the summer like to really be able to try it out but for right now it worked I picked up two setting sprays um two different setting sprays because I have a setting spray addiction <laughs> I have addiction to a lot of stuff like I'm just addicted to makeup hello I'm Tiffany and I'm addicted to makeup hi Tiffany so first I picked up the um, another Charlotte Tilbury I love her packaging her packaging just screams like fancy to me this is the party all night stay all day airbrush flawless setting spray I have not opened it I haven't used it oh it says no melting no fading no creasing instantly locks in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied Primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Okay, Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte. And that is what it looks like. I've heard really great things about this. Like, from people whose opinion I trust. So, I feel like I already know that this is going to be great. Um, This next setting spray was more of a blind, just add to cart type thing. This is the Benefit Professional Super Setter. I haven't really heard much of anything about it. I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you. But it says it's all mist, no mess, no drops, spots, or stickiness. Mist on a smooth, even feather-like cloud. That really, like, said a lot to me because I, I love a great misting spray. Like the Morphe um, setting spray, which you guys know I love. I love the mist on it. I don't like those sprays that just come at you all harsh in your face. I don't like those. But um, it says it is waterproof. Oh, okay. Hello outside for the summer. <laughs> waterproof, smudge proof, and fade proof. 93% said it perfects the look of makeup. Yeah, so it has a lot of great claims. So I am really hoping that it lives up to the hype and that is what the packaging looks like. So we'll see. I am not the biggest fan of Benefit products except for their brow products. Y'all know I love their brow products. Um, oh, and their mascaras. But other than that, it's always usually a hit or miss. So I'm excited to see how this works. Looks like Fenty was the star of this Sephora show. Um, I got another gloss balm cream in Fenty Glow. This looks like this right here I t like I remember it was a time I hated like liquid lipsticks I was all about matte lipsticks it had to be like an actual lipstick I had a lipstick obsession and as I've gotten older I really only like um like liquid lipsticks and just lip glosses it's so crazy because there was a time where I hated like anything gloss or like creamy lipsticks so yeah this one is the cream in Fenty Glow which I've seen this on people and it just always looked really really pretty so I'm excited to see how it looks on me not ready to open that yet but I will keep you guys updated more skincare more skincare I picked up oops. So I picked up the Caudalie Vinyl Pure um, Purifying Gel Cleanser. I love this brand. This is a great brand. I have the Pore, it's like Pore Refining Serum or something like that. I'm almost out of it. That is what I, why didn't I get another one? Okay, yeah, it looks like I'll be doing another order. Y'all might have a part three, that's sad. But I love their serum. It, to me, like I can definitely see a difference in my skin when I use it. So this is the Purifying Gel Cleanser. It says Purifying Natural Salicylic Acid and Organic Essential Oil Complex. 
great reviews on it I really love the things that I picked up so far from this brand so I'm really excited to see how this works this one was just something I was going based off the reviews online for this the Dr. Zenovia um, it says this is hormonal dermatology I get hormonal acne and I usually get it like right up underneath in this area and it's so irritating I get hormonal acne and then I'm also getting the mass knee because you guys know at the post office I wear masks literally all day so um, I was hoping that this would work. This is the clear complexion 5% benzoyl peroxide at acne spot treatment. So this is what it looks like. I haven't used it. It looks like this. This was, this was pricey. This was a little bit pricey. Um, it comes with 0 0.5 fluid ounces, 15 milliliter, and it's just supposed to reduce acne flare-ups and redness so i'm definitely going to keep you guys posted anything that you guys want me to keep you posted i for sure will but this is definitely one of those things like i'm interested to see how it works and if it works i know a lot of people probably suffer from the same thing i do so i'll let you guys know but the reviews on this were really great i picked up some more fenty like i said fenty is definitely the star of like this is not sponsored it would be great if it was but it's not so I picked up some of the Fenty skin products that I've been actually using as you can see um, I picked up the fat water it's the pore refining toner serum I really like this I would repurchase this again I did purchase didn't I purchase that in this haul hmm, I might have purchased it in, in a, the other one or maybe there's a box somewhere that I don't know of but I know I purchased another toner from Caudalie that I'm you know waiting to try out but I would repurchase this this was a really good one and then also the Fenty Skin um the moisturizer I, I like it I don't love it and I don't feel like I need to repurchase this again it's nice but I don't see anything like groundbreaking about it but the toner I do really love so this would be a repurchase this one whenever I get finished with it yeah I did pick up another foundation and I got another foundation as well. I don't think that foundation is coming in my online order, but I did pick up the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear just because this is one of my favorite, like, just if you need a foundation for all day that you know is not going to move or budge or smudge or do anything but just look flawless <laughs> that is this one and the other one that I had I hadn't used it in a while and I knew it was kind of old and I didn't want to play around with it on my face so I figured I might as well just go ahead and re-up so I just got that one here is what it looks like you guys know this is no stranger like this is the most gorgeous foundation Ever. I love my NARS more because I think I use the NARS more on like an everyday daily basis but this for when I'm just trying to go out and just look snatched did y'all see how I did that that would be this one yeah I absolutely love this foundation and then I also picked up another setting spray why because I'm addicted to setting sprays this is the Sephora beauty amplifier um set and refresh spray it's not expensive but it works really well I think people sometimes can sleep on the actual Sephora brand products but I have quite a few of them and I absolutely love them I've used this spray but I used the mini size and I'm finally through with it and I really enjoyed it so I figured I might as well just go ahead and pick up the full size and then two more things and then we'll be done with this haul um, I picked up a Sephora brush this is the number 22 this is just the eyeliner brush it's nothing more than an eyeliner brush nothing super special about it other than the fact that I just needed an eyeliner brush something that I could use to um just use to set my brows in place and it looked like a really thin brush online and in person it looks exactly like what I wanted I may get another one of these because I have one that I love that I got from Walgreens years ago and the bristles are finally starting to like fall out on it and I was so heartbroken because I'm always looking for a really good like a really good 
thin liner brush. There are a lot of them out there, but not they're not as thin as I need them to be to do the things I need for my brows. So this one, again, is the number 22 brush, and it looks exactly like what I need. So I might go ahead and pick up another one. And then finally, I picked up a primer from Laura Mercier because I had heard one of my friends talking about this, and she said it was really good. This is the Pure Canvas um, Blurring Primer. That's what the packaging looks like. I think there's different ones, but I picked up the blurring just because I'm all about giving that whole blurring effect. This is what the packaging looks like. It is silicone free. I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to give it a try. But that is everything that I picked up for part one of my Sephora um, sale slash VIB sale. Again, I think the sale is going on through the 19th, so you guys definitely have time. Hopefully, I showed you guys some things to add to your wish list and that inspired you. If you guys want to see anything in particular, if you want me to talk about anything in particular, definitely let me know down below. I'm definitely going to get back to doing some more of my car videos while I'm at work on my lunch because you guys seem to enjoy those and they're really easy for me to film those and then I can just bring my stuff we could do swatches and talk about it and all that other stuff so whatever it is you want to see just let me know down below thank you guys so much for all of your kind words um your inspirational messages just your positivity that you guys have been showing me through the past um couple of months I appreciate it I haven't really been responding as much but definitely know that I see it and I appreciate it thank you guys so much for continuing to rock with me here on my channel despite the hiatus I appreciate each and every one of you and until next time bye YouTube